and welcome to 360 Strong Women. Today we're going to do a 10 minute morning stretch. Something you need to stretch your body head to toe in just a few minutes, something to get you up and get you going for the day. Start in Sukhasana in easy seated pose. You don't have to be really tight with your seat and find a comfortable mat. If you need more cushion for yourself, um, double up your mat. So if you have a very hard floor and you want to protect your knees, you'll just need an extra mat. Go ahead and make sure that you're starting to hydrate your body first thing in the morning. You want to start to have your intake of water. You want to get eight, eight ounces of water through the day. And let's start to stretch. So we're going to start with our neck, our cervical spine, C1 through 7. Super important that we stretch it and be very gentle with our neck. You always want to have an apple under your chin, put it in a neutral position. And we want to tuck our head so that it is sitting right up over our shoulders and not out here in front of us. We have a tendency to turtle out because of computer work and texting and all the things that we do with electronics now, pushing our head out in this plane of motion. So we wanna make sure that we're tapping and cueing our body to tuck it in in a neutral position. So we don't put so much stress on our, our cervical spine. I'm gonna take a breath out. Exhale it out, and then as I take another breath up, I'm going to take one hand up and tap my, I've got my right hand, I'm tapping my left ear, and very gently, I'm cupping my head but not pulling on it, and I'm allowing my right ear to come towards my right shoulder, I'm stretching out the neck, and you're breathing in and out. I'm going to do this very gently. Then I'm going to release to a neutral position and take my chin right to my AC joint. I'm just going to look right down, right where my shoulder and my chest connect. There's a little dip there. You're going to look right there, stretching the back of the neck. Taking a few breaths in and out. Remember, we're pulling the pit of the belly in and up and drawing nice and tall. Then I'm going to put that apple under my chin just to make sure I'm in a neutral position and take my chin over my shoulder, roll my shoulder back, stack the scapulae, getting that really nice long stretch in, breathing in and out, I want oxygen coming in and out, and then gently come back to the center, take in a breath, exhale it up, and then take that other hand up over, tap that chin, and then very gently, I'm just rocking my head over. I'm not pulling on it. I'm just guiding it, relaxing the shoulder, feeling the nice stretch. You're just going to determine which side is tighter, which side has more flexibility. And then I release to the neutral, take my chin down to my AC joint. I'm just going to look down to it, feel that nice stretch, sitting up nice and tall, breathing in and out. I'm going to come back to neutral and then turn over my shoulder. Roll those shoulders back, draw it nice and tall, and feel that stretch. And then come back to neutral. Now we've worked around our cervical spine. Working back down now, I'm going to take my hands up, cup my wrist. So I'm not pulling on my fingers, I'm gonna just take my middle finger and my thumb and cup around my wrist. And I'm going to pull over to the side. Now, what's important about this is that I'm not lifting my hip up. I'm going to draw both hips down and then lift up and stretch my side body. Nice, long and lean. Then you can reach for the top. Now, you can do this standing. We're just doing these seated positions today. There are so many morning stretches, but I like these because it kind of takes you from top to bottom. Then I'm going to bring my shoulders up towards my ears like I'm wearing earrings. Push them down, round out my back, extension of the spine, bring my arms to the front, and then open up my chest. So up, down, forward and back. I'm gonna feel all of that upper back. 
up and down, feel that release, forward and back, up and down, forward and back. And just reach up, see if I get a little bit more of a stretch over to the other side. And you can also then twist it out as you breathe in, you want to lengthen as you exhale, you'll twist that open just to rinse out your spine. And you can come to the other side, big breath in, exhale it out. Beautiful. And then come back. So I want to do a nice shoulder stretch here. Notice that I'm staying away from my elbow. I'm not grabbing my elbow tendon or those ligaments. I'm going to come right up onto the bicep, tricep area, that big muscle part into the deltoid and squeeze my arm towards my chest. You can also open up your hands. Some of us keep our hands very tight while we sleep. So you might want to open them and close them and get your digits moving for the day. And then I'm coming to the other side, squeezing and lifting tall. And then I'll do my lion's paw. Let's open my digits. You might want to count them out and then count them backwards. All right, get that brain moving too. And then I'm going to come to the back, grab my wrist and pull my shoulders back, open up that chest. That should feel really good. And then gently release. I'm going to push into my cat cows coming into tabletop. So I want hip width, two fists between the knees, hip and knee in alignment. As I inhale, I'm going to soften the belly, put flexion in the back. And then as I exhale, I want to put extension into the back, round it out, push it out to the ceiling. Inhale, you can do as many cat cows as you feel like you need. We're just going to do a couple because I'm just going through the motions of stretching everything out. Feels good. I'm going to bring my left foot out in front of me. My knee's going to stack over my ankle. I'm going to lengthen my leg out and stretch my hip flexors into my Anjane Asana. I'm going to come up and stretch my quad. Give that a nice stretch. You can hold your stretches for about 30 seconds. Release down. I'm going to tuck my toe and then hip hinge back into my Ardo Hanamasana. Stretch my hamstring. Give those legs a nice stretch. Notice that I'm dorsiflexing my foot towards my knee to keep it safe. Both hands are going to come to the middle. I'm going to step up. And then my feet and my fingers are going to face the same way, opening up into my standing straddle fold. Now, notice that my knees are nice and soft. I'm not locking them out. And my apple's still under my chin. As I hinge forward and bow, opening up all the back of the legs. Then I want to walk open up my inside thigh. So you can do this here, knee behind the toe, or you can come down to broken triangle, wherever you're at for you. So everybody's at a different place. You can come yogi squat or goddess pose, and then back to another broken triangle or a side lunge just to stretch out your adductors and abductors, those inner thighs and outer thighs. Then I'm coming to the other side to get my Anjane Asana. Just make sure you're stacked in the right place. You need this nice stretch. And hinging back for that hamstring. For that hamstring, opening it up. Very quickly come back to my Prasarita standing straddle fold just to open up the back of the legs. Push in to open up around the hips. I'm going to bring my feet together. 
do this from the side. So if I'm out here, I'm going to bring them together neutral, bend my knees and hip hinge into my rag doll. Just to open up the low back. And then we've opened everything up. I'm going to keep an apple under my chin. Go ahead, sit down. Take another breath in and exhale that away. And your 10 minute morning stretch is done. Just keep flowing through with some gentle stretch, some nice movement to open everything up. And that's a great warm up and a stretch because we're flowing kind of in and out of it. You can hold like those stretches, like I said, you can hold them for about 30 seconds a piece. We're going to start at the top. Be very, very gentle with your head. We work down into the shoulders, into the back, across the chest, and into your shoulders. Then we rinse out and twist your spine out. And then we begin to work in your quadriceps, adductors, inner thighs, abductors, outer thighs, hamstrings, glutes, back of the legs, low back. And now you're all stretched out head to toe and you're ready to either do a yoga flow, more yin yoga, you can do some meditation and breathing, or you can go ahead and like, subscribe and share, hit our button, go into the playlist and pick out a workout, a lifting workout, a cardio workout, a mixed workout, kickboxing, they're all there and enjoy those workouts. If you're short on time, but you're like, I wake up and I get really stiff, do some 10 minute stretching every morning just to work on some of that flexibility, get that oxygen moving, get lengthened, long and lean, and enjoy your day. We'll see you for the next stretch. Bye.